Okay, so we had ourselves a little meeting of the minds yesterday, Coffee Talk number four, Stephanie's little YouTube channel. And here is my analysis of said, of, of such an event. Um, I thought it was excellent. I thought that's about as well as a atheist Christian debate or conversation. It felt more like a conversation to me, but, you know, I'll let them decide could go. That's really honestly as well as I thought something like that could go. Uh, I know the two players pretty well, and I respect their both of their integrity enormously. Um, and somebody said it was boring, and I was like, if that's boring, you know, that's not your thing. Because those, those were real theological questions being discussed, and those were real atheist, you know, those are the real atheist questions, and those are the real attempts at a theological resolution i mean if that's boring to you this isn't your thing watch watch different types of youtube videos because that's not a boring version of that that's as good as a conversation like that could possibly be especially at this stage um you know read you you my experience of you in the discussion is almost identical to my experience of you on twitter and when i heard you in the debate last week that's why i wanted to do it i was like that's that's the guy i know it's the same person I experienced on Twitter. You were exactly as I expected. Um, the penultimate Southern gentleman. It is too bad, honestly, that I didn't meet you in my drinking days because we would have hit it off. Man. We would have had so much fun. We would have stayed out till five in the morning. Like, uh, you mentioned rap. Maybe rap is your thing. We would have stayed out till five in the morning getting hammered, talking about rap music and I don't know. Renee is a fan of rap, too, but he doesn't know the 90s rap. If rap is your thing, you know the golden age of rap was the 90s rap, you know, uh, New York, L.A., and I think it was before Renee's time. I don't think he knows Dr. Dre. I don't think he knows. He may know Tupac, maybe, but I don't think he knows Biggie. I don't think he knows any of the, like, classic rap. Maybe he knows N.W.A. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know Public Enemy. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that you just don't learn in Germany. You know, you just don't get, you know, it's just not available, you know. And then the earlier stuff, the, like the first wave stuff, I'm sure he's never even heard of, like uh, Boogie Down Productions. And maybe he knows, I doubt he knows KRS-One. I doubt it. I doubt he's even heard of some of the stuff. Uh, you know, we got this stuff right from the Bronx. I grew up right outside of New York, so we got it as soon as it was made. You know, Boogie Down Productions was the first run DMC and Boogie Down Productions was being played in my hometown like as soon as it was made. And it was some of the cool kids were already starting to get into it. It was a little bit too much for me as a high schooler. I was still kind of like, it's not real music. It's not classic rock. You know, I was a classic rock snob in high school um, and a little bit of a punk rocker. But. Anyways, uh, rambling. What are we talking about? Okay, so the debate. So you were exactly as I experienced you, in the, as as I thought you were. Totally charming, totally genial. It was. It felt more like a conversation, a genial conversation, with a lot of intellectual substance to it. You know, that's what I thought it was going to be. You you have real depth in your your challenge, in your questions about Christianity, in your questions about faith. Those are real questions that require real answers um so that went about as well as it could possibly have gone along those lines renee renee i i i actually didn't realize honestly that you're as intelligent as you are really honest to god i've always said that you're the smartest um but i thought i meant that just kind of half playfully <laughs> really fucking sharp dude like really scarily like you, honest to God, I didn't recognize that until yesterday, but you have a really, truly first-rate intellect. Like, really first-rate. Um, seriously, I, there, there are two atheists that I consider brilliant. Matt Delahunty and Scott Clifton. And I've chatted with Scott. Scott. Scott and I were friends for a while. I would, you know, chat with him every couple of days on Twitter. And he, he was really nice to me. He was really cool. But... I don't experience him as that much more intelligent than you. I, I may be overrating you, but you strike me as in their category. You really, really honestly do. Um, because I'm factoring the fact that you're 19 years old. 
which makes a big difference. I'm not sure if you you can see that, but I like to consider myself the smartest person in the room in any given room. I I've, I've consider myself that way. I do doubt when I was 19 years old. Um, yeah, humbly. <laughs> I humbly consider myself the smartest person in the room all the time. Um, I highly doubt when I was 19 years old, I would have had the presence of mind to conduct myself the way you did in that debate. Um, and I think you may have been nervous. You seemed more, I don't know, you tell me, you seemed more, you know, usually you and I are more of uh, whatever. There's more back and forth, easy, easy joking and laughter and camaraderie. And you seemed maybe you were nervous. I don't know. But. I was really impressed. I really, honest to God, think you may be on their level. I don't think I'm overrating you. I honestly don't. I'm also factoring in that you're going to continue and grow and try and debate and challenge your mind. You know, I I, I see you as as th that quality, intellectually speaking. I, th I think you have real intellectual firepower. Really, honest to God. Um, wouldn't say it if I didn't think it. Now, Stephanie. Stephanie was Stephanie. Stephanie Stephanie'd you. Yeah, yeah, Reed. Stephanie Stephanie'd you. Fucking deal with it. Deal with it. Yo, know, Reed groans. Stephanie's like, okay, let me tell you about the fossils. Reed's like, oh, deal with it. That's that's the broccoli. You don't want to eat the broccoli. Fucking, you're in the debate. Eat the broccoli. Sorry. Stephanie rocks. Stephanie does her Stephanie thing. You know, when she's not doing her Stephanie thing, she was also, you know, totally... She was she was more on the ball with what, what I don't even understand what Renee's point was. To tell you the truth, Renee, the 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 new thing that you brought to the table with the exegesis and the I, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I, couldn't, I had no idea what you were talking about. Stephanie seemed to get it, and she was making, as far as I was concerned, really solid points in in response. Um, so, you know. Yeah, Stephanie does her Stephanie thing. She's got a fan base for that, you know, with her when she starts the let me tell you about the courage of the apostles. Yeah, Reed, you groan, but she had people who went, yay, go, you know, she's got a fan base for that Stephanie argument and she's she's getting better at it. So, you know, watch out. She'll get some she'll she'll kick somebody's ass with that argument soon. I promise you, because she's getting better at the live debates. So. That argument will will win the day somewhere. Maybe not on YouTube because you two are pretty sharp, but somewhere somehow she's gonna she's gonna stand off against someone with that, and she's gonna she's gonna win with it. So that's that's her thing. Um, other than that, you know, I honestly don't think it could go any better. I, I really hope that we do it again with these four players um, because we could go a lot deeper, you know, we could go a lot deeper. There's some things that Renee has tossed around in some of his blogs. Um, one of my own pet little things to discuss philosophically speaking is if there is no God, there is no intrinsic meaning to life. I know Renee has tossed that around in his blogs before. Um, I would love to discuss something like that with those same four players. Um, I don't really consider it a contest, but if you're keeping score at home, I'd say it was a draw. You know, if you came to the table as a Christian, I sincerely doubt you walked away an atheist. If you came to the table as an atheist, I sincerely doubt you walked away like those two Christians are, they're, they're totally on the ball and sign me up for Christianity. I doubt, I doubt either, I doubt we convinced anybody um, either way. So I would say it's a draw. I don't really consider it a contest. But if you're keeping score at home, um, I say draw. So that's about the long and the short of it. You know, Reed, that's exactly who I think you are. That's your perfect Southern gentleman. That's exactly how I thought a conversation with you was going to go. And again, it's too bad. It's too bad I didn't meet you in the drinking days. We would have fun. We would have had a really good time. And Renee, that's my analysis. Take it or leave it. You, you're first rate intellect. First rate. I honest to God think you do. And Stephanie, you know, Stephanie, you did your Stephanie thing and you're doing it well. So cool. Do your Stephanie thing. And that's that. I thought it was really fun. I hope we do it again. I thought it was really fun. Actually, I thought it was really enjoyable. And hopefully we do it again. Bye.